reaching for the stars, traveling so far, like a dragonfly. What's going on everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna show you an awesome morning of tarpon fishing I had the other day with my boy Captain Tater and our buddy Jordan. And then afterwards, I'm gonna discuss the different rigs, setups, and techniques that we use to catch these fish this day. Like in all my videos, I make sure to list down in the description the different gear that I use with links if you guys wanna go check them out. So make sure you check it out if any of this interests you. Tarpon season is in full force here in Tampa Bay with thousands of fish in the passes and cruising up along the beaches. My boy Captain Tater invited me out on his boat with our buddy Jordan to go tarpon fishing. I've never been fishing with Jordan before, but he is a beast, especially when it comes to inshore fishing. We got out on the water at about 6 a.m. before the sun was even up to try and get some fresh bait for the day. What we were looking for were pinfish. We wanted some between three and five inches. That's been the perfect size lately. So we set up on a grass flat and we were throwing both cast nets and sabikis tipped with a little bit of squid to catch these fish. After we had about 30 perfect sized baits, we headed out to the pass where the tarpon have been stacked up lately. Yeah. I, mean, it's like, no matter what. I mean, it's nice and spacious in general yeah. though. You can... That one I just missed was on a small thing just like that. Yeah, I've got a small one. It's not written with the hand on these yeah. That'd be nice. I like the little, there you go, nose open. I like the nose open. Yeah. Oh, that'll be. Yep. Yep. Yep, go right now. I'll be drinking beer. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Got it. Oh, I'm going, I'm going. Hooked up. Here, do you want to throw that line like in the hatch so we can stand all the way up front? No problem. Whatever Captain Taylor says goes. <laughs> Get him, brother. I'm on him. Get that pressure on the glass. <laughs> oh, hold you. Go up. Yep, he's going right. He's up on the surface. He's going right hard. Right hard. Right. Yep, I see him. Good job, brother. There you go. Good bow, good bow. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm neutral, I'm neutral. Alright. You're good, you're good. Dude, he's like already done. No oh, shot. <laughs> you wish he was. <laughs> Popped. Oh, that's it. Hook just pulled. Sorry, buddy. Oh, All right. I got that on Snapchat. <laughs> the hook pulling? Yeah. Damn. We'll get another one. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back. Damn. All right. There we go. Can we get the anchor? <laughs> I'll be ready on the anchor. There he is. Oh. Yep. Yep. All right, we're on top of it. All right. Where are you? There you go. Oh yeah, he's a he's a decent fish. Was that on a little pin? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's on the surface over there. Yeah. Good job. a pity powder? Yeah. Pity powder. Maybe 60. Not the fish that you're gonna fight for. I don't want a big one. Yeah. I like this size. <laughs> I hate giant tarpon. Here he comes. Down later. Go forward. Alright, got a glove? Yep, I'm ready. Where's he at? Okay. Where's he going left? Yep. Really? Yeah. Can I get 
in your head mount? Yep. Straight to the beach. Do you guys want me to bring you to the beach now? Yeah, go for it. Maybe not. They're always bigger than they look. <laughs> yeah. Let's go we, right want, we just go put the yeah. power down the beach. All right, let's pull it in. Here, I'll put the bow down on. You want to do it? Yeah. Yep, yep throw it left. Money. Oh! Nice jump, nice jump. Now we want to fight. Yeah, for real. Of course. Right when we stop chasing him. Dang, that thing looks good. Come on, bring him to me, bring him to me a little bit. He's like five feet away, he's still like five feet away. Oh, he just took off. Hey, you scared him. Yeah. I'm sweating, I'm not even doing anything. Shut up. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop stepping. I wish I knew where you hooked at. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah. I have 50 pounds. Yeah. Don't just baby him. It's not worth it. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're a big video now. That was awesome. Oh! I just want to get a hand on this fish. Oh my god. I did, I did, you had its mouth. Yeah, yeah. You're ready. You're, you got Shut him right up. Here. Got him. Two Bring him over. Got him. Man and him. Keep attention on him just in case. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> I love hooking my mouth out of the mouth. Yeah, what? <laughs> love it. I did that, I've done that like 10 times. <laughs> Oop, fell right out, no problem. Barely, not even hooked. Look at that fish right there. You get a good picture? That, that looks- you got videos and everything. That looks massive right here. Right. He's not that small actually. He's probably like 60. Oh, man. He's probably 65. Yeah. yeah. That looks sick. All right, got it. Oh, tarp and twirl, I call it. <laughs> tarp and twirl. It works. Get that water moving over their gills. Send them. Yes, sir. There he goes. Gone. Does that work, bro? Yes. Found it, smack it, whatever. Woo! All three of us were really using the same rig all morning. And that consisted of a 5-0 circle hook tied using a uni knot to about a four foot section of 50 pound fluoro leader. We would have preferred to have used 60 pound fluoro just for a little more security, but we didn't have any on the boat, so we had to work with what we had. So Tate actually started with a float attached at the very top of the leader, so it was about four feet down. But then once the tide started really flowing through, he switched to a free line like Jordan and I were throwing. My tarpon setup consists of a 8,000 Shimano Saragossa spooled up with 40 pound braid on a 7.2 Shimano Therese medium heavy action rod. You could honestly get away with a smaller setup, maybe like a 6,000 size reel, especially if you're on a boat where you're able to chase these fish. But I really like this setup for three reasons really. One, it can hold a lot of 40 pound braid, which is nice for tarpon fishing because they go on some big runs and you just gotta let them go. Also, this setup casts very well. So if I have some live bait, like a pinfish or even like a pass crab on, and I see some rolling fish off to the side of us, I can still reel up and cast to these fish no problem. But my favorite part of this whole setup is how much power I can put on the fish. This reel puts out a lot of drag and this rod has some mean backbone to it. So if I need to horse the fish or turn them, I can do that. As far as the technique that we were doing, all we did was anchor off on the side of the pass. So we're out of the boat channel, out of everyone's way. 
and we were just free line drifting these pinfish back to these fish that were stacked up in the past. So what was happening was the tide was rushing in because it was rising and these fish were sitting there with their face in the current waiting for different baits like small bait fish or crabs to drift by with the current. All we were doing was just drifting our pinfish back, letting line out with the current, trying to make it look as natural as possible. And you could tell once a tarpon ate because you either felt that thump or you saw your line just start quickly leaving your reel. And all you did was give it about two seconds close your bail, reel down to the fish, and then the fight was on. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.